Hey, what's going on? Uh, vertical content is amazing. Those are those short little videos you can pump out to TikTok or Instagram, YouTube Shorts, um, and they're, they've been working very well for me. I, lately, I've been trying to get built, well, build up my Instagram muscle, just kind of get better at it, improve upon it. And I'm not perfect, a lot of things I could do. Um, you know, how to use reels, how to use stories, what that's all about. And I, just, I discovered some really interesting things I want to share with you. Uh, well, see, the thing is, stories are great because you can actually put a link in the story. That link could be anything, even an affiliate link. Uh, with Reels, you can't really put a link in there, and that's the bad thing. What you could do, what I've been doing, is uh, putting a link in my bio and then mentioning uh, the bio uh, in my video and trying to encourage people to click on the link. And that's something that you can do as well as an option. Now, what's so cool about Reels is a lot of people can see them even if they don't follow you. So they get a lot of exposure, a lot more views. Uh, with Stories, only your followers will see them, okay? Uh, Reels can stay up in theory forever and Stories will disappear within 24 hours, okay? Uh, Reels can be 90 seconds long, which could, this could change in the future. Stories are 15 seconds, but you can actually combine four of them together to make it 60 seconds, that's a difference. Uh, Reels have better editing tools. Stories have more stickers and you can include you know, polls and questions. So the million dollar question, which we all have, is how the hell do you get more views for your Reels? Because they, they can get a lot of exposure. They can really do some major damage and you can pump them out. Uh, well, the first thing is most people out there really, really recommend only using three to five hashtags. Uh, very, very, very targeted hashtags are gonna help. Uh, the next thing, uh, which is really, really big, which I didn't know, is actually watch time. Uh, so you want people to watch to, until the very end of your video, and that really helps the algorithm. It can really help you get a lot more views. Uh, so how, how do you do this? Well, one way is you can make your videos just shorter. I never really thought about that. That's, that's, that's an idea. Another idea, which I don't do a lot of, but you could do is include a hook in the beginning. It's just some reason to get someone to watch until the very end of the video. Something that invokes curiosity. Uh, a thumbnail, of course, definitely can help a little bit. Uh, something that just invokes curiosity. So people are, what the hell is this thing? Clip, pop. So those are some ideas. Uh, lastly, is putting text in the video as well. A lot of people that watch the vertical content, they do it with a sound off. So you know, putting some text in there definitely can help as well. Uh, if you want to learn a, a whole lot more, uh, just go ahead and click on that link below or go to my website at trustthelink.com. I, I go over a lot more how the algorithm works in detail, um, as well as just some ideas on how to pump out content, um, vertical content, much more quickly and fastly and do some damage that way. Um, I do want to end by saying this. I, I really don't think it's a great, great idea to to depend on just one platform. I'm a huge fan of really using as many platforms as possible uh, because it, it just reduces the risk. Uh, I'll give you an example. I mean, 2020, uh, India actually banned TikTok. And so you know, if, if someone out there just depended on TikTok for their whole business and then it went away, it's just really bad. So using a lot of platforms, including email, which is fabulous because you own the list. And I still love blogging because you own it. You're not playing in someone else's sandbox. Uh, it, it really just makes you, uh, well, weather the storms you know, when things change happen. So, so I think it's a great idea. Anyways, hope this video or podcast gave you some ideas. Might have been at least a little tiny bit helpful. And uh, hey, have a great rest of your day. All right, bye.